How to break 90. Final part. Fade, draw and backspin shots. With Bobby Jones. In order to hit a straight shot, the swing must be kept inside so that it can swing through straight toward the hole. This is a virtue which we intend to describe when we say a swing is compact. To slice a hook without the intention of doing so leads to plenty of trouble. But a player becomes more expert. He ought to know how to turn the ball to right or left at will. Control shots of either kind are very useful in the wind or in swinging around bunkers and other obstructions, barring the way to the green. Slice or fade shot. To play an intentional slice, the more skillful player sets out to do some of the things which the average golfer does without intention. To produce a slice, he must swing his club through on a line directed slightly to the left of the objective. Depending upon how much slice he wants, he moves a little farther back of the ball, opens his stance a bit, and lessens the turn of his hips during the backswing. In swinging through, he holds his weight back a little in order to direct his stroke across the line from the outside. The result is a slice, all right, but it is under control. Cook or draw shot. The hook, which is a result of a faulty swing, is usually caused by turning the face of the club over before impact. But a controlled hook or draw cannot be played in this way. The swing which produces this kind of shot strikes the ball while crossing the line of flight from the inside out, with the face of the club approximately square to the objective, or only slightly hooded. This is done almost entirely by the action of the hips and body. The ball is played a little nearer the right foot. The wind-up of the hips during the backswing is the same as usual but the forward shift of the hips is exaggerated. The swing drops in close to the body and is directed outward through the ball. Backspin shots. The average golfer, when he has to play a quick stopping shot, finds it difficult to resist the impulse to hit the ball on the up stroke. He wants to help it into the air. But the stroke which produces backspin is directed downward and takes a divot from a turf after it strikes the ball. The elevation of a shot means little. The ball that is hit upward will fly high, but it will not stop quickly unless the greens are very soft. This shot, though not unusually high, was stopped quickly by the backspin. In playing this kind of shot, the cocking of the wrist is very important. 
If the wrists are not fully cocked and the angle retained until late in the downswing, a firm downward stroke will be impossible. It is a mistake, though, to think that a backspin shot has to be punched any harder than usual. The rhythm and timing are exactly the same. The descending blow and the loft of the club will take care of the spin. Fade and draw review. Swing the club, slightly, to the left of the target line. With the club face square to the target. Ball position further up middle of the stance. Stance a bit open. Slow turn of the hips during backswing. Going down, hold the weight back a little. To swing across the line from the outside. Swing club slightly to the right of target line. With club face square to the target. Position further back middle of the stance. Stance a bit close. Normal turn of the hips during backswing. But going down, the forward shift of the hips is exaggerated. To swing close to the body. And across the line from the inside. How to Break 90 with Bobby Jones Please remember that nothing shown in these pictures is intended to be a tip or a quick remedy. If your swing is not right, overhaul it completely. Build it on a sound foundation. My aim is not to take a few average golfers out of their class, but to make the average of the whole somewhat better. Many thanks for watching. And many thanks to Bobby Jones for all his legacy instructions. If you like this video, please subscribe and like.